Gas exchange. Main function of the lung. The lung's primary function is gas exchange. Oxygen is delivered to tissues and carbon dioxide is removed from the tissues. Respiratory system. In humans, the respiratory system consists of airways, lungs, respiratory muscles that move air into and out of the body. The diaphragm pulls air in and pushes it out. The lungs have an alveolar system where molecules of O2 and CO2 are passively exchanged by diffusion. Path of oxygen. Oxygen enters the body through the nose passes through the throat area, pharynx, down the windpipe, larynx, down the trachea and into the lungs. The lung branches out into many bronchi and the oxygen goes down all of the branches. Gas exchange Gas exchange is the movement of CO2 from the blood and O2 from the air into the blood. Gas exchange occurs in the lung and specifically within the alveoli. Gas exchange detailed. During inhalation, gas exchange happens at the alveoli. Alveoli are tiny balloon-like sacs and are the basic components of lungs. The alveoli are lined with pulmonary capillaries which are thin enough to permit gas, that's O2 and CO2, to exchange. Passive diffusion. Passive diffusion allows gas to move into the blood. Recall that diffusion is the natural movement of particles from an area of many to an area of few. Blood from the body has waste, that's carbon dioxide, which empties into the lungs for exhalation. Now the blood has no oxygen, so it picks it up easily from the alveoli during inhalation. Control of breathing. Breathing is one of the few bodily functions that can be controlled consciously and unconsciously. Unconscious breathing is controlled by centers in the brain stem which regulate the rate and depth of inhalation. When CO2 levels increase, the blood's pH drops which signals the brain to increase the rate of breathing. When exercising, the CO2 level rises because of the increase in cellular respiration and muscles. During resting state, the CO2 level is low, the breathing rate is lower. The concentration of CO2 in the blood, making it acidic, elicits desperation breathing more than the lack of O2. Breathing. The diaphragm, which is a muscle, controls the expansion and contraction of the lung. When those muscles contract automatically, it makes the diaphragm space larger, so oxygen rushes in to fill the space. This is inhalation. When the diaphragm is stretched because of the oxygen, it automatically recoils like a rubber band, squeezing the carbon dioxide out. Exhalation. Summary Respiratory System The respiratory system includes the diaphragm, nasal passages, lungs, and blood vessels. The diaphragm creates the pressure difference for inhalation. Nasal passages takes in oxygen from the environment into the body. Lungs transfers oxygen to blood. Blood vessels carries oxygen to the body. Respiratory system organs. 
Breathing is an automatic rhythmic mechanical process which delivers O2 to the tissues and removes CO2 from the tissues. The circulatory system delivers the gases exchanged in the lungs during respiration. Gas exchange, the alveoli. The exchange of gases between the external environment and the cells of the body take place in the individual alveolus. Here's the alveolar sac. Let's take a look inside the sac. Here's the blow-up of the individual alveolus. Pulmonary capillary. It's right up against the alveoli. The respiratory membrane. This allows carbon dioxide to diffuse from the blood into the alveoli. This allows it to be exhaled and it allows oxygen to diffuse into the blood. Gas exchange pressure gradients. Alveolus. Oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange passively between the pulmonary capillaries and the alveoli. These gases move along their partial pressure gradients, i.e. from high to low. The partial pressure of oxygen is higher in the lungs. Therefore, oxygen moves along its pressure gradient from the lung into the blood. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide is higher in the blood and therefore carbon dioxide moves along its pressure gradient from the blood and into the lungs.